Mika, that's absolutely right. According to three sources familiar with this matter, FBI uh, agents, as we speak, are searching President Biden's Rehoboth Beach home for classified documents. This comes, of course, after there have been a discovery of a number of batches of documents at his think tank here in Washington and also at his home in Wilmington, Delaware. Now What's up, guys? This is Matt from America Patriot News, and today I want to talk about Joe Biden's document scandal. And today, his beach home was uh, searched by the FBI, almost said raided, but they don't raid Joe Biden's stuff. So anyway, uh, they, they went in there, searched his home, didn't find any classified documents, but they did find some uh, notes and some other material from when he was vice president, and they took that. And they supposedly took some handwriting samples. Don't know what's for. I'm sure we'll find out at some point or another. Maybe. But anyway, the thing is, it gets me about this story. I found uh, an article in Just the News. Let me go ahead and bring you up the part of the article I found interesting. Bond's attorney searched for his Rehoboth Beach House last month, but no documents were found at the time, according to CBS News. Now, the thing is, I don't want to bring up Trump because I want to compare what's going on Biden to the average guy like me and you. Do you think the police or the FBI would allow me or you or anyone else that's normal that's out in the world to actually have their lawyer or a third party search their house before the FBI or cops got in there and searched? No, they wouldn't. This is a perfect example of a two-tiered justice system. You, uh, you allow the powerful and the elite to do whatever they want and then come in afterwards and pretend like, oh, it's all fair and it's equal. When it's not, it's obviously not. This is a perfect example of that. And now I'm going to talk about Donald Trump. Now, there's a big difference between what happened with Donald Trump and what happens, what, what's happening with uh, Joe Biden. Number one, with Donald Trump, he was president. Okay? He could declassify these documents. Joe Biden, the documents they have found so far, he cannot declassify them. That's a big difference. Number two, uh, Joe Biden didn't have subpoena. Tom Trump did. Now, he was working with the National Archives and the FBI at the time, and they finally decided, screw it, we're going to go ahead and raid you. With Joe Biden, there's no subpoena. Now, after they found the first batch of uh, documents, you would think the FBI and the National Archives would do a subpoena to look into the rest of his homes. No, they ain't what they did. They decided to work along with Joe Biden and allow his personal lawyer to search his homes to find documents. Now, they found documents in his uh, home in Delaware, in his garage, and then in his study. And in the speech home that they searched today, haven't found anything except for... Uh, well, that's what his lawyer, he found nothing, but the FBI did find something today, but it wasn't documents. It was just uh, handwriting samples. So my question is, why didn't the FBI and National Archives get a subpoena? Why didn't they go and search his home with a warrant? Didn't do anything. Decided to let his lawyers search a month ahead of time and then let him know the day before that they're going to search his home. That is treating him way different than Trump. Now, guys, I think this is good news, though. And the reason I'm saying that is because they're blatantly putting this out in the open. They're going to treat people differently than other people because of their status or because of their political beliefs. Now, it's going to bite them in the ass in 2024 because you're going to see a lot of people go out there and vote against them because they see them as the tyrants they are. And I think this is good news. But, guys, I want to know what y'all think. Comment down at the bottom. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe. Share this content. It helps with the algorithm. We'll talk to you later. Peace.